Welcome, ladies and gentle minions of the underworld. Mwahahaha. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. Day, this is day 12. And, uh, <laughs> Stover Deluxe with your guide for day 12. Over there is Big Sleep. He is the opponent of the day. He is the one you're going to kill and get the Orphan Maker. That is the gun that you're going to get and then kill Cursed Pirates with it. Uh, right off the bat, you see me get it. I have beaten this DLC on True Vault Hunter mode back when I was like a level 50 something. Um, so I haven't been back here since, <laughs> really. I didn't exactly know where it was, so I just kind of jumped on the map. Uh, you can teleport to Hater's uh, Gully, I think it is, or Hater's Valley, something like that. And it's not that difficult to find them. You just kind of follow the directions on the website. Uh, you can see relatively where I am on my screen. There's the gun. It's the Orphan Maker. It seems like it has really, really bo like boss stats. Like It should be like the most awesome shotgun in the world. But it's got this flaw. See, watch. You see my shields? It fucks you up. I mean, it shoots you and you shoot them. And everybody's getting shot by this gun. And it reloads every single shot. I don't know if I just got a shitty one that only holds two bullets. But it consumes two bullets for each shot. But I think that's just kind of the standard. It's a side-by-side, -side, um, you know shotgun so i'm guessing that you pull both triggers at the same time but anyways this is what you're seeing right right now what you're seeing blah, 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 is me in the town of oasis now i went back to normal mode which is what you do when you're doing these uh, uh challenges the name is specific to whether or not the kill counts um there were some discrepancies early on in the last week where people thought that a higher difficulty creature that had the equivalent name would count but it wasn't the exact name, and it does not count. It has to be this specific character with this specific name in order to count for the Daily Community Challenge. So, today it's the Cursed Pirate. Now, what you're watching right here is, I found out, this is a hell of a good way to farm for some freaking skins. I got like three or four skins just in like two runs over here. Um, this is Oasis. Now, this is on normal mode. I have not beaten it. So, I basically am in the first mission. I'm just running into the town and killing them. The first time I did it, no freaking shit, there was three of them. I swear on my life, <laughs> there was three cursed pirates that popped up on this thing first time in. I saved and quit three times and didn't see another one. But in all all practicalness, and uh, my wife has played since, and I had to take my daughter to the doctor, so I had to kind of step off. That's why this video is late. But anyways, she went to... Um, continue this storyline in this map and she said that the very first couple quests that you do for Captain Scarlet is to kill Big Sleep. Now you can get there if you have the DLC and you haven't played it or if you've never played the storyline you can get there not too difficult or not too far into the DLC itself and the cavern areas the big cave areas that I was just in where Big Sleep himself is there are cursed pirates there they're usually if you're playing guys uh, around your level like if you're on uh, ultimate vault hunter mode then the cursed pirates are usually the pains in the asses. They're like, <laughs> they're usually the Goliaths or the 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 big bad guys that come out of the posse and make it a little bit difficult for you to kill. So you're gonna know when you can kill them. Look at the accuracy on that motherfucker. God damn, he can't shoot anything. Sorry for the language. I should probably beat that, but I'm probably not because I'm lazy. So <laughs> check, go and wander in. You see me kind of just take off running here. I'm not sure exactly how long I'm gonna make this video because it's already three minutes in, and I'm about to all I have to say about the quest. And where to find these dudes to kill. So they pretty much are kind of, they're pretty much random. It seems like sometimes I go in and they'll spawn two or three of them. Sometimes they won't spawn at all. It's not like Goliath where you, or Psycho Badasses, where you know exactly where they're going to spawn. This is more of like, uh, I don't know, a suicide psycho. You know, you never know exactly when you're going to get one. You can get them sometimes in, in certain towns and sometimes you don't get them. So. Just explore this DLC and you'll find them, especially in that cavern area where it's the higher concentration of pirates. As far as the Orphan Maker, now I'm sorry I did kind of skipped over this gun part. This gun, it shoots you while it shoots the opponent. So it's kind of got a higher damage, I guess, but it also costs you a little bit. Now the one that I'm using is, granted, uh, 20 levels below my character. And my character has critical hit buffs. But it seems like this gun does really shitty damage if you shoot them anywhere but a critical hit um it says on the description that it's got like 800 percent weapon damage but it seems like it shoots five bullets it seems like it just shoots like five bullets like regular pistol bullets and each one does about 30 30 thousand damage so if you hit two of them you get about 50 or 60 thousand damage so you can see me pulling up the map just trying to find a way to 
find some bad guys because I'm on normal mode and I'm just exploring. But this gun, it seems like it has about a 50% chance of hitting anything. <laughs> Out of that 50, 25 of them are going to be decent shots. 25 of them are going to be like, you know, the equivalent to a hit marker. Um, and then every now and then, every once in a blue moon, you'll get a critical. Well, that's a one-hit kill, but you'll get a critical with this, and it'll do over 100,000 damage. It's not very often, and in, um, just to put it in perspective, my melees right now, on as it sits in the video, we're doing over a million damage a melee. Now, I do have an assassin that's stacked, but still, that's a retarded melee. Um, this gun, it kind of sucks. Is it, I honestly am going to sell it. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of the motherfucker. I don't need it. Uh, it's not doing me any good. It's not a very good gun. Um, I might try and get it on Ultimate Vault Hunter mode just to see what it could potentially be. But as far as I have realized with this thing right now, you got to get right up on them. you got to barrel stuff with them. you got to shoot them in the head. And then maybe you'll get the kill. So, there you go. You have it. <laughs> uh, run around there and get some kills. Let's get this thing done. Um, I'm trying to kind of looking up on that longbow. I'm going to see if I like it or not. It sounds like it's pretty cool. I'm really hoping that they don't they do not do too many of these DLC, DLC things. Because there are a lot of people that do not have the DLC pack. Um, at this point in the video, I'm completely sidetracked from the main objective of recording. And I've gotten distracted by the bottle, and I think the screen kind of sits here for a few minutes. Alright, so this is my cue. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Give it a like, and give it a sub if you want to see some more content. I'm going to try and do these every day for you guys. Thanks, guys. Topher, and I'm out.